Satellite technology plays a vital role in providing solutions to many of today's climate challenges, routinely monitoring the Earth for greenhouse gas emissions and changes in climate. Satellite communications company Yasat has a fleet of five satellites reaching more than 80% of the world's population, enabling critical communication. I sat down at the COP28 talks here in Dubai to talk to Suleiman Al Ali, Chief Commercial Officer of Yasat Group and Chief Executive Officer of the Raya. So as a UAE company, what does it mean to you to have COP28 here in Dubai and what exactly is your involvement as well? To be a UAE company, a space tech company in UAE and uh, as a UAE national to see the COP happening here in UAE, it's a moment of pride for us. Really, we are proud of UAE and the achievement that we are ha having here. Also, being a space tech uh, company, uh, this is the first time in the COP to have a uh, space uh, pavilion and we are part of that and our contribution to support sustainability and uh, providing communities with the reach and internet connectivity is very important and this is the role that we are playing. Very much looking forward to hearing much more about your company. Let's head on over to our studio. Suleiman Al Ali, what a great pleasure it is to be sitting with you here at COP28. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for hosting me. Well, Yasat, of course, is based out of the United Arab Emirates, and you provide critical communication to 80% of the world's population. A huge, huge figure there. Tell us a little bit more about the company and what you do. So Yasat was established in 2007. And in early uh, 2010, we launched two satellites. Uh, that was Alia 1 and Alia 2. It was mainly for fixed uh, satellite services. And in 2018, it was a remarkable year for the group where we uh, launched our third satellite, Alia 3, and at the same time, we acquired Thraya. Thraya has been the UAE's first step to our space economy and space uh, industry overall. And it was the first satellite operator uh, in UAE. It started in 1997 with uh, two satellites that added, uh, you know, made the, the, the group have five satellites between mobility services and between fixed services. We provide, as you stated, 80, we cover 80% of the world population and we cover more than 150 countries. And in our plan also with the launch of the new satellite that we are uh, working on for uh, 2024, 3 we will be covering more uh, countries uh, in the coming years. The platform or let's say the services that we provide goes across uh, aero applications, we have uh, maritime application and we have as well uh, land applications. Uh, in terms of solution, there are a huge variety of solutions goes between government application that is dedicated for government uh, specific application and also for commercial, being oil and gas, mining, uh, different, different application, even for sustainability application that we have today. When we look at some of the climate challenges here, this type of technology is critical when it comes to these types of solutions as well. Can you give us any nice examples of some of the solutions that you, you know, provided to various regions that have been particularly affected by climate change? If we take some of the incidents that, uh, that happened uh, during this year, and we have many of the incidents that happened before that, we had like a tsunami that hit Libya at that time, uh, you know, three services were provided immediately uh, to establish the communication. Uh, and also when the earthquake hit uh, uh, Morocco, uh, the, 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 the fast response of uh, Thraya on the ground was really visible because we saw that because of our reach and because of our uh, availability uh, of, let's say, products in hand of the customer, at the right time, then all the people there, they did not suffer from the loss of communication for a long time. Um, we have uh, some solutions that we will talk about solutions and how we are moving the company to be a space tech company and really contribute to the sustainability. So I will take an example of what we have showcased in JITEX this year, where we presented five solutions. Uh, they mainly contribute to the sustainability of uh, uh, 
of the environment. Uh, there was a solution that support agri-tech. And we know that today water and the availability of water for drinking or for uh, agriculture is very important. And these systems are connected to satellite connectivity that will give some readings of the moisture of the soil and how uh, you know uh, these crops need how much of water and when it need to be open and closed uh, wildfire detection integrated with ai that will detect exactly what kind of fire is behind that and many many uh, solutions uh, uh, one of the solution was to support the maritime uh, sustainability where you can track and monitor all the fishing activities that is happening within your region and then you know the, uh, the the timing that you want them to stop fishing to grow the the the, uh, the, the marine life at that time or there are some uh, certain areas you want it to be restricted you know nobody uh, have to to fish in that area so the solution will give you the access to understand and know where these fishing boats are uh, are moving. Truly breakthrough technology, really, you know, upping upping the levels there. So the company also launched its new sustainability strategy, I hear. That was in 2022. Maybe you could give us a nice round idea of, of what exactly that is. So when we looked at uh, uh, at how to to really be able to uh, to move ahead with the challenges that we see from the market and uh, uh, and all the challenges we see around us, we came up with with a really solid uh, sustainability strategy that have five pillars within uh, within it. We started with the governance within the company. We have to have a reliable governance. We have to provide our services to our uh, customers and to communities. Uh, we have to establish, uh, you know, the the base of uh, of uh, investing on people because they are the one who give you the growth to the future. You need the minds. You need the people. They are the, your asset. And if you uh, look at uh, also. Uh, sustainability and serving communities and also supporting sustainable environment activities. So moving toward green energy, moving toward, you know, uh, introducing solutions that will uh, support, you know, the sustainability of the environment. Uh, that is also one of the main pillars and also build up the right relationship and the right business uh, partners. So all of that together, if you look at it, that will give the guidance to the group overall, how they can move from today's challenges to the future, looking at the five years going ahead. How are you realizing these sustainability goals, especially when it comes to a more local, regional and global level? How are you doing that collectively across the board? So if we look at uh, what what Tiasat is, is, uh, is doing, Tiasat is part of different strategies, being internationally or nationally. So we have Abu Dhabi's uh, vision for 2030. We have UAE space strategy. We have the United Nations uh, uh, space uh, uh, strategy and we have the ITU. So we are part of uh, a lot of the strategies and um, agreements that we signed with uh, national and international parties to really move with them toward uh, adjusting our offering to the market and our uh, availability in the market uh, to really be in line with these strategies that will really uh, support uh, the overall sustainability and uh, the growth. One important point here when we talk about sustainability, I think people will always try to think what does satellite company and the satellite operator have to do with the sustainability of the environment? It, it, the answer for that is is in two folds. One fold is in the ground, and it's what whatever I discussed and I have explained. You know the solutions that we will offer that will help in, in terms of sustainability. The other fold is in the space. You have assets in the space, and even the space, it needs sustainability. We 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 are part of the ITU agreement where this agreement all the operators have to adhere to this agreement they have to make sure that when the satellite reach the end of the life to have enough fuel to send the satellite to the graveyard so there is a lot of sustainability activities and efforts are done done in the space to clean the space to keep the space as a safe 
and a clean environment and a sustainable environment for future generation because it's not only for us we need to think about you know 10 years from today as well and as you mentioned with this breakthrough ai forward thinking technology as well looking to the future what does the future hold where do you go from here maybe you could tell us a little bit more about thoria 4 okay it's a, it's a very exciting question because uh, you know future is always uh, full of you know plans that we are working on it it's not from today it's it's many years of planning and action that we put together uh, where we are just about to realize you know all the efforts that we put in the uh, in the couple of years past uh, and i'm talking about the whole team uh, really put a lot of effort in it which is three or four three or four is a continuation of three story it gives trust to the investors it gives trust to your customer that this company have a continuation story. So this is the message and this is what we want our customer and our investors to really look at. We have a plan and we are executing these plans. This will be launched in 2024. And at the time of launch, this will be one of the most advanced L-band and mobility satellite in the whole industry. And with it, we will be launching a portfolio of product between commercial and government product that will serve many platform but it will have an extra capabilities than whatever we have today so this is very exciting to to to, to us and to the management and and also to the team and to the customer as well um, if we think about you know the mandate that we received from the government it's a 5.1 billion dollar uh, it's one of the biggest deals in the whole satellite industry uh, and it reflects trust as well. So this is the trust of the government in the company. And we have to, uh, to really reflect that trust in reality by providing our customers in UAE and outside of UAE with the latest technology. And these are uh, satellites that will be launched in 27 and 28. And uh, we are really busy with a lot of activities. We are looking in parallel to that, we have two main pillars for growth of the Yasat group, which is direct-to-device and IoT. Uh, the applications and the momentum in that area is going really uh, in a fast pace. And um, we will be looking at you know a lot of changes that will happen into uh, how people perceive uh, the, uh, the satellite communication and how easy it will be to implement satellite solutions in a day-to-day -day activities. What a truly exciting time for this, this sector specifically. And thank you so much for giving us such a brilliant update on everything you're doing and everything you're contributing to, especially when it comes to climate action. So thank you so much. Thank you very much.